It's the world's largest basilica of Christianity. Nested in the heart of the Vatican City, it was originally constructed by the Emperor Constantine around 320 AD in the area where St. Peter had been martyrized. However, the new structure began construction in the reign of Pope Julius II at the start of the 16th century. Raphael, Michelangelo, and Bernini all helped for the creation of the artistic structure, each adding different and unique aspects to the building. Being 136 feet in diameter and rising to a total height of 448 feet, the Basilica's ionic style dome dominates the skyline. Inspired by the Pantheon, Michelangelo, although not completely completing it entirely, managed to finish the portion of the dome basement called the Tambora. It has a strongly symmetrical plan with Greek crosses. The dome was brought to completion by Giacomo della Porta in Ponta. We owe Bernini the arrangement of St. Peter's Square in front of the Basilica. The oval colonnade allowed a large number of people to access the building, and it symbolized the arms of the church reaching out to the faithful. The colonnade acts as a solemn entrance to the most important church in Rome. The apse gloria was Bernini's major design challenge. He agonized over what to do with the existing windows and finally incorporated the bohemian glass window into the composition. Golden stucco clouds and rays emanate from the stained glass window placed in front of the existing window. Bernini also completed the canopy, or baracin, located inside the basilica over the papal altar. The canopy is made of bronze, and the details, including the olive trees and bees, are of gold. It immediately became the prototype for numerous imitations and variations. Inside the basilica are numerous and priceless art pieces kept in the 45 altars and 11 chapels. There are about 10,000 square meters of mosaics. Michelangelo's Pietà, the papal canopy, and the monument to Urbano VIII, both by Bernini, the monument to Cristina of Sweden by Carlo Fontana, the monument to the Countess Matilda by Conosa, under drawing of Bernini, only to quote some of the most important pieces. Each artwork creates one of the most elaborate pieces in history. We have discussed some of the characteristics of Baroque art and architecture. Now the exploration of the Baroque period will be continued with the performance of a piano piece by Bach, one of the most influential Baroque composers.